Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. Uh, forgive any uh, droopy lip type stuff going on or slurring any of my words. I had some uh, dental work done, and uh, I might have a little bit of a Sylvester Stallone lip going on. I'm not sure uh, what might uh, I might look like talking. But um, it was kind of a flattish day, um, I guess, up for the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ was up around 130, and uh, the Dow it was kind of crazy. I think we were pretty good on the Dow uh, for most of the day. But near the end of the day, it was basically flat. I think it was up two. Um, and the same thing with the NASDAQ, but the NASDAQ was a little bit better. Was, NASDAQ seemed like it was a little bit like uh, all over the place, jagged throughout the day. But uh, at the end of the day, I think it was, for the most part, kind of near where it was for the most of the day. But still, it's uh, green in a month that I figured we were going to be uh, doing more selling. Maybe earlier in the day, I was a little bit more uh, confused as to what uh, today meant. Because, you know, yesterday was fairly good um, and today was looking fairly good so I, I was really starting to question is like did we hit the bottom are we actually going to be going up for the rest of the month um, but uh, it kind of like trailed off at the end of the day at least for the the Dow maybe the S&P 500 too um, but it was still still green it's not like we had a tremendous sell-off it's not like people saw you know the winds changing and everyone started to jump out so, you know, you'd think if uh, people were more on a selling uh, feeling that that would have happened. That, like, the second, like, we had a day where the Dow was uh, around 200 or whatever, and it started to go down into the double digits, that more people would have jumped out and we would have ended up down, like, 100 points for the Dow or 200 points for the Dow. But we didn't. We stayed flat. And I guess, you know, something can be said about that. But there wasn't really much news on the day. I wasn't able to, like, c catch much of anything. The first thing I saw with anything with the news was uh, Nancy Pelosi talking about, like, how they don't have, like, a bill or anything like that uh, uh, figured out. Um, and uh, I guess uh, Jim Cramer got himself into some trouble uh, calling uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, Nervous Nancy. Uh, he, he did, apparently, uh, jokingly and stuff like that, but still people... Uh, didn't really uh, like him doing that but you know that was the little bit of a segment that I saw and I kind of figured you know with you know like I've been saying friction about like coming together for any type of stimulus thing that that was going to be the thing that was going to drop us lower but that was near the beginning of the day and for most of the day things were good and it wasn't until later in the day that like kind of things fell off so I don't really see much of reason as to why there was a sell-off why it was kind of a flash day but on that case I also don't really know why it was like a positive day but things were mixed and my things were mixed and I might as well just uh, get to how I did on the day um, leading the charge is Tesla up 7.18 percent I didn't really see much of anything as to why it was up uh, bigger than you know anything else um, but yeah I'm glad to see that um, that's at four hundred and forty nine dollars um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe if it gets back up to 500, I might look to sell some shares again. Um, who knows? That might be like a range that it's in. You know, 500 down to like mid, you know, 400s, 400, 300. Um, but I don't know. Uh, should I gamble? That's to say that 500 is, you know, its limit. Maybe, maybe one share, maybe two shares. But we'll see what happens with Tesla if it can get up to 500. We might have a crash before that happens, and you know I'll never get that opportunity. Uh, take two that was up uh, 2.63. AstraZeneca 2.33. Beyond Meat uh, 2.3. Zoom 1.84. Waifu 1.24. Uh, Apple 0.16. I'm kind of surprised that wasn't up more on the day. I think uh, throughout the day it was better. Um, so they were definitely up. A higher percentage at one point but um they had like a showcase today and usually on showcase days they you know do better but for some reason they didn't really do much of anything i don't know if there was anything in there that like like uh disappointed people i think i did hear that it's like they weren't like launching a new phone and maybe that's like one of the things that like people kind of expected they expected like iphone you know 800 or whatever the heck you know number it's up to um, but I guess there wasn't a new phone launch, uh, a lot of stuff about watches, a lot of stuff about, you know, maybe the app store or something like that. But yeah, you know, it apparently didn't give, uh, investors what they wanted to hear because it wasn't up, uh, much of anything. 
completely flat on the day. We have a canopy growth of 0%. Pfizer down uh, 0.14. Uh, Green Organic down 0.16. Tilray 0.38. DraftKings 0.84. Kind of surprised about that. Come on, DraftKings. You just had a, a deal with ESPN and sports are they doing sports stuff. You know, why, why is that going down? But at least it wasn't a full percentage. Uh, next, we have down Boeing, 1.12, Smith & Wesson, 1.32, Aurora Cannabis, 1.53, and Nikola, 8.27. I guess the next string of bad news for Nikola is coming out. I guess the DOJ, Justice Department, and stuff like that, they're you know going after Nikola, like saying that it's like they tricked investors. Did Nikola trick me? Did they do that? But... Um, so, you know, that's never good that people are going to start investigations and stuff like that. I don't know what they're going to come up with. I don't know what, you know, the whole thing's about, about like, you know, tricking people, how people are, short sellers are saying they're frauds. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that it is like just a bunch of negative news and maybe there are people kind of like behind the scenes that have reasons to kind of knock Nikola down. I don't know. For some reason, I just get an Elon Musk vibe from this guy and Nikola, where it's just like they're going to be something, they're going to do something, they're going to go someplace. And, you know, this type of short seller type stuff is going to go away because Elon, for the longest time, Tesla was around like 300 to $400. And like getting knocked around and stuff like that. And it was all short sellers and this and that. And like Tesla, you know, it's just a imaginary stock. You know, it's just words. They never hit their numbers and stuff like that. So there's a lot of reason to think like Tesla was just a, a mirage of like a thing. It's just like what do they do. It's just like, you know, Elon's like sending rockets up to the moon or something like that over here. But like what's Tesla doing for like, you know, two years ago or something like that. So, I don't know. For some reason, I get the same vibe from this. And, like, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of almost hoping a lot of the bad news keeps it around, you know, $30 a share. And, you know, um, maybe even knocks it down even lower. And I'm going to buy more. So, I, I don't know. I, I don't know about Nikola. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of bad news are coming out. It's kind of funny. It's just, like, they had that, like, deal with uh, General Motors. And they shot up 40%. Then all the short sellers showed up and it like basically tanked and gave away all that money. Then it's just like this guy, you know, comes out yesterday with like fighting back with like a video or whatever. And like it goes up like 10 or 11 percent. Now this drops it down eight. So it's just like, you know, I, you know, I wish I was uh, buying and selling or whatever like that on all the dips and highs and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm not partly just because of that whole watch sale type thing. But now, I, I am just kind of like holding on to it, and I think it's going to be something someday. And, you know, maybe I'll be paying attention to what the guy has to say, uh, pay attention to what this, you know, uh, investigation is going to be showing or something like that, and maybe throw some more money into it. Um, but especially if um, what the trend of green is starting to show, where it's like if we are starting to like rebound and like Apple and everything else that's worth buying is starting to get back to its 52-week high. Well, Nikola sure isn't at its 52-week high. So it's like if bad news can keep Nikola down while well, basically everything else that's worthwhile is back up to its highs and I have cash on hand, guess where all that cash is going? Basically, it's going to be going to Nikola. Unless I can find, like, I guess, like, Carnival Cruises. That was, like, the cruise line of all the cruise lines that I was, like, thinking about getting into. And, like, they got whacked today. I don't know exactly the, you know, reason for why they got whacked. But it was, like, something like they're going to be getting rid of ships. They're going to be decommissioning ships because, you know, they're not being used or what have you or whatnot. Maybe the ships are no good. But they got whacked. So, like I said, if everything starts to get back up to where it was, like, a month ago, where it's, like, basically, you know, nothing is off its high, you know, I'm going to have to do something with that cash. And if it isn't just putting it back into mutual funds, it's going to be finding deals. Uh, and, like, things at, like, low prices that I think are going to go up at some point. Nikola, Carnival, the airline stuff, type stuff, uh, IPOs. I mean, if I have some cash on hand and... I feel these other two uh, other things aren't low enough or that there's bad news going to come out about them. It's like, just roll the dice. It's like every other IPO, and I think it's even better odds than every other. Like, every other IPO shoots up. 
So it's just like, why not, like, if I have cash on hand, just throw that cash into an IPO, it launches, you know, I'll, I probably won't get it on the very day it launches because, like, IPOs, it's like I have to pay attention to, like, when they're going to be coming out. And it's like, are you going to be one of the first people in there? Probably not. People that are already, like, are getting their money in before the market opens put their money in. And that's when it rockets up. So I'm going to be getting it when it's already up 60% on its IPO day. Um, but yeah, it's just like if I can get an IPO when it, like before it starts trending up and I get an extra 40% on that, just like after I get that 40%, jump out and now I have 40% more in my cash uh, for, you know, like I said, Nikola or Carnival or whatnot that's down. So my strategy really hasn't changed much from yesterday. Like I kind of said, like if today was good, I wasn't going to be buying anything. Today was good. I wasn't buying anything. Tomorrow, you know, could be good. I'm not going to be buying things. But maybe if tomorrow is good, and especially if it's like a definite good day, that might be enough for me to say, I think the September is not going to be as bad as I was figuring. That like at least September is not going to be a repeat of March. Because I don't think we had like three good days in a row with March. We had like down two, up one, down three, up two, down again. It's like three good days in a row. I don't know if we had many of those, but especially if tomorrow's a really good day um, or just like a good average day. Uh, if it's a flat day, we don't learn anything. If it's a down day, uh, we again kind of don't learn anything because that's not on trend. If it's a down down, then we'll kind of know. If like if we end on Friday bad, like really bad from where we are, then it's just like, okay, first week is bad, second week is bad, this week is bad. So yeah, we're not doing too well. But, you know, if at, by the time we get to Friday, we're just so much more up than where we are right now. Yeah, I have cash on hand. Yeah, that cash would have been making me money and some of the other good things. Yeah, I, you know, missed an opportunity getting them lower. But, you know, there's plenty of low things that you can get with that cash. Don't want to chase things going up high because God knows if I, you know, if I think that the sell, uh, selling is over and on Friday, basically Apple's just 5% away from its high. I'm just like, oh, I, I'll just have to put all those shares back into Apple. You know, you, you know Monday's going <laughs> to end up tanking and I'm going to be kicking myself. So, you know, I'm keeping my cash on hand. Um, if it was a mistake to put cash on the side, I'll just buy things lower and, you know, see what happens. But today was uh, good to flattish. Um, got my dental work done. Uh, hopefully I'll be better tomorrow, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right.